Hello. Good morning and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, happy Lunar New Year to you all. Thanks for taking out time from your busy schedule to join this uh, knowledge session. Today we will be talking about uh, special bud joint fire resistant glass solutions. I mean, we know that uh, bud joint is quite a common uh, product in uh, all the building applications in interiors. Uh, we are actually going to talk about in detail uh, in terms of how we can actually make this particular product into a fire resistant solution. So uh, before uh, you know we start the session, uh, quick uh, mm. uh, Q&A for this. Uh, basically, uh, you can actually post all your uh, questions uh, in the Q&A function of this uh, Teams event, and your questions will be uh, published by uh, by our moderators, and uh, we will be answering uh, at these questions at the end of the webinar, uh, so that we can continue the feed, and uh, we can we will also like you to uh, you know. Uh, mention the questions uh, and those uh, questions which are liked by you will be featured uh, in the section of uh, featured section and the most liked questions will be taken up first. So uh, you can post all your questions uh, and we will we will make sure that we answer your questions uh, during this session or maybe if we if we can actually take them uh, later also through emails and your uh, contacts. At Vetrotech, we believe that life safety comes first, that in all living places, people should be granted safety. Infallible safety. One cannot compromise when it comes to protecting lives and property. One cannot be anything less than rigorous. Full compliance is a must. That's why we are committed to making living places more secure. Committed to ensuring occupants the peace of mind they deserve without sacrificing comfort. Because no one should have to make the choice between life safety and well-being. We are entrepreneurs who strive to bring safety to any building project. Pioneers in passive fire protection and high security glazed solutions. Advocates for healthier, more sustainable construction for the well-being of each one of us and the future of all. Every day, we transform the near-infinite potential of glass into high-performing, multifunctional solutions. Solutions that demand no trade-off in function or aesthetic and discreetly blend into the surrounding architecture to provide occupants with imperceptible protection. That's why our customers can rely upon us. They trust us to act as partners in identifying and co-developing systems adapted to any application or risk scenario. We share this mission with them today and for the years to come. A mission we are proud of. We ensure that people and property are always protected from hazard no matter what. Vetrotech, on the safe side. OK, so after this quick uh, short video, uh, let me talk about what uh, you know in terms of what we do and who we are. Uh, we are actually a part of uh, St. Gobain International and uh, as a as a brand, uh, as a as a business, we were actually founded in uh, 1980 and uh, from from that date uh, till now we have we have developed a lot of uh, fire resistant and high security uh, glass solutions. Uh, currently, we are our headquarters is in Switzerland, and we are operating in uh, more than uh, 70 countries with uh, over a thousand people. So we are quite a diverse uh, organization. Uh, and in terms of our manufacturing, we have seven production uh, manufacturing sites, which are spread across uh, three different uh, continents. Uh, in terms of uh, you know for us uh, we are actually uh, growing uh, globally we have uh, if you look at the footprint we have a foot footprint in almost uh, uh, all the countries uh, today when we are talking about uh, this region which is uh, we call it this region as imea region which is india middle east and uh, southeast asia our uh, manufacturing for this location is based at chennai uh, we have a world glass complex where we manufacture uh, along with the Vetrotech. We manufacture a lot of uh, glass solutions which can cater to all the architectural and uh, automotive segments uh, across this region. So uh, currently uh, 
in this particular uh, region uh, is actually uh, being served uh, through our uh, uh, factory in uh, Chennai. And uh, now onwards, uh, I will introduce uh, Mr. Ralph. Uh, he is actually our uh, business development head uh, for uh, uh, this particular segment. So, uh, Ralph, over to you. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Manish, for this introduction. Uh, let me first of all introduce myself uh, a bit. Uh, my name is Ralf Linden. I'm German. I'm living in Germany in the western part in Aachen, very close to uh, the Dutch and Belgian border. And uh, I'm working at Sengobern since 35 years, so a rather long period of time. More than 25 years involved in fire resistant glass uh, uh, production, product management, uh, various uh, functions during my career on the commercial sector. So I've been the sales area manager in Germany, in Benelux. I've been responsible for the worldwide marine business for fire glass. Also been to Austria and southeastern Europe and uh, doing new business development, which means that I have a very strong link uh, to our uh, international uh, key system partners, uh, which uh, uh, are, uh, let's say, for us, one of, of the keys uh, of the business. I will go on with the next slide and would like to do a little <coughs> jump with you let's go back in time uh, we intend to talk uh, about the the beauty uh, of uh, safe and uh, extraordinary butt joint solutions here and in the year 2000 uh, vetrotec has launched uh, this product uh, which we call contra flam structure since that time a butt jointed fire resistant glass solution uh, which was at that time the first one uh, going with tempered glass. So now for more than 20 years, uh, we have supplied those uh, solutions into uh, building constructions. And uh, believe me, we are not just talking about several, we are talking about more than 1000 uh, 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 projects uh, we have we have been realizing in, in the past. Next slide, I would like to show you what is the basis uh, for our product for Contraflam structure. It is Contraflam, which is uh, fire resistant glass, the standard product, uh, which can be made from a single or multiple uh, chamber product, depending on the classification needs we have, which is containing an environmental friendly uh, interlayer made from uh, silicate which in the case of fire turns opaque and is providing a full protection against the heat radiation and is with this opaqueness also uh, working against uh, the panic of people. Let's have a look in a little video here in a, in a, a, a fast speed or fast motion video. I would like to start, which apparently isn't possible, excuse me. For if I'm using the laser pointer, now we can. So here you see in fast motion, a fire test of Contraflam, the breaking of the fireside tempered glass, and you will see how the interlayer will be reacting now or start reacting now. It is uh, turning white uh, with the temperature and started to is starting to foam and uh, finally fully covering the surface in a very homogeneous and uh, yeah, uh, well protected uh, layer. So with Contraflam, uh, we are covering the full range uh, of products from EI30 to EI120. Uh, symmetrically fire performance, we also have symmetrically impact safety uh, at the highest level. Uh, according to EN 12600, the 1v1 classification. Uh, Contraflam is considered to be a laminated or laminated safety glass according to the standards, and it has an outstanding UV stability with more than 5,000 hours uh, uh, to the compared to the normative 2,000 hours only uh, in UV ra radiation. We are by far exceeding the requirements of uh, UV stability. Uh, the Contraflam products have an excellent uh, acoustic insulation 
and uh, they have full multifunctionality options, which I will be explaining in the next slide a little bit more detailed. It means that <clears throat> The standard life safety products, fire or protect, uh, we haven't been talking about this and it will be part of another seminar as far as I know. These standard product solutions offering uh, enhanced uh, safety can be combined with any other functionality which the architecture is requiring today. So we could add, add sustainability topics by adding, for instance, low E coatings or solar protective coatings we can enhance uh, the comfort or the design or safety. We can even combine bullet resistant glass with fire resistance and could finally have a fully customized solutions for any of your building projects. So in the end, uh, life safety always comes with uh, multifunctionality with our product. And this is easy to obtain for us. Uh, if you imagine a contraflam unit with two external tempered glasses, we're just replacing one or both of those products with other glass products to have uh, already a couple or several functions uh, in the monolithic fire glass. And in an DGU or even a triple glazing unit, we could add other panes to the contraflam unit, which is enabling to get even more uh, functionalities uh, in one single glass pane. Yes, but let's get back uh, to this uh, wonderful and exciting application, the structure solutions. Uh, it is, uh, as you can see here, uh, a fully glazed uh, partition, uh, which has been invented uh, 20 years ago. You see, we are joining the panes uh, side by side with just a very slim uh, joint of approximately four millimeters. You see that the contraflame units uh, used for structure uh, as usual and as the standard product is having a hermetically sealed edge compound all around the glass, which uh, is staying visible, but which enables to have a flush glazing uh, uh, solution without any vertical profiles. Have a look <clears throat> into the next slide. We have uh, summarized here uh, about the butt joint fire resistant solutions uh, and partitions. Uh, in the end, as I said, Contraflam structure has been the first uh, product offering butt joint fire resistant with tempered glass. We have more than 20 years now of proven reliability with thousands of projects, so it has become very famous even. The glass to glass partitions uh, have a look and a feel of a structural uh, flush glazing uh, without any vertical uh, uh, profiles, which is giving a very seamless and uh, uh, unbroken finish of the glazing, uh, which is uh, architecturally very valuable. Uh, the fire ratings are going from EW60 up to EI120, and you see we can even do corner uh, solutions uh, just with glass without profiles and have just a surrounding frame uh, around the panes in the partitions or in the constructions. The maximum panel height uh, is nearly 4 meter 50, which has been used so far. And we have solutions available uh, as well as for interior as exterior applications. For exterior, of course, we have to use a, uh, to use a DGU makeup, so we add another ply to the monolithic contraflam structure unit with a spacer uh, in order to have uh, additional functions like sun protection or low E, depending on the climate zone uh, we are placing the product or we are using the product. Here on the right side, you see an interior application in a, in a Swiss project, uh, so-called Beau Soleil. Going to the next slide, <clears throat> we would like to uh, show you some more uh, projects uh, and give you an idea how nicely and how beautiful uh, this solution can fit into a building. This uh, project, Forbury Place, uh, is in London uh, and has been built a couple of years ago. It is, as you can see, an atrium uh, glazing situation where contraflam structure has been applied on uh, in this office building on uh, seven different levels or stories uh, with corner solutions. And in the end, uh, 
this is was the reason finally why we, uh, beside the beauty and the architectural value created, uh, there was some glazing in the bottom of the building uh, up to four meter forty nearly, which uh, uh, finally decided on on the use of the product. So. As you can see, this atrium enables, and this is the purpose of fire resistant glazing, to get natural daylight from the top of the building. There's a roof glazing on top of the building, and you see that the natural daylight can enter into the building and spread over all the stories. And beside this, uh, it is important, uh, of course, to prevent in case of a fire, in case of an incident, uh, the vertical fire spread. And this is this is uh, well done and fulfilled by the glazing, as well as it is giving a full safety, uh, full impact safety and fall through gardens uh, in this application. Another project uh, you can see here, this is the sickly wine cellar in Switzerland, uh, where uh, you see we have also applied contraflam structure in those round shapes. So we are not just uh, going uh, rectangularly. Uh, with the glass, we can do any any shape uh, of product, uh, which and you see how how seamless uh, the glazing is blending in here into the ambience and in this round uh, uh, concrete opening uh, in in this project. Another project example is this uh, ZHVAW in Switzerland, uh, university library where you see uh, that we have. Uh, uh, installed uh, contraflam structure glazing here in also in a kind of atrium situation above the balustrade uh, area, uh, which is also looking uh, very nicely and giving an open space atmosphere and is perfectly blending in into this uh, interior architecture. Yes, <clears throat> we have done a time jump uh, back to 2000s. Now we are in the year 2022 and we have some good news for you. We have a novelty. Uh, our product uh, development uh, has led uh, contraflam structure into uh, uh, the future, I would say. It has got a facelift. We now uh, are proud to present to you uh, contraflam structure vibrance, which I will be explaining uh, in the next slides. Contraflam structure vibrance is uh, a new product, a butt jointed fire rated uh, partition uh, solution, but it's offering colored edges. And this is extremely important for contemporary architecture because uh, colors uh, have become very important. Uh, we apply a ceramic frit at the vertical glass edges, and we could do this in any color or any uh, uh, tone uh, to the Pantone or, or RAL color palette, uh, a slim line which is applied alongside the vertical, vertical edges on both sides, but back painted. That means it's on the outside, uh, on the inside towards the interlayer. And so it cannot be scratched on the outside. It's giving a perfect finish. It's nearly looking like a kind of paintbrush with the color. So it's looking, uh, pretty well. With uh, those colors, <clears throat> the glasses uh, and the partitions uh, can even more discreetly blend into the interior and uh, com be can be combined with the tones and colors or even can be accentuating uh, complementary colors. So the architects can really use the colors also in the glazing, which they have been using uh, in the ambience of, of the building. In addition to the colors uh, of the uh, contraflam structure edges, you can also use different silicones for the joints. As I told you, we are joining the glasses and there's a slim approximately four millimeter thin uh, uh, gap in between the glasses, which is filled with an intumescent, which is uh, applied on both of the glasses, which, by the way, is also a very active protect, uh, effective protection during mounting to prevent from glass damage. Uh, and this small opening, this small gap uh, of four millimeter can be sealed with uh, silicones. And today we have five tones available. It is black, white, and three gray tones, which you will see a little later. As said before, 
the product is also available like control flump structure from EW60 uh, up to EI120 in steel and aluminium systems, depending on uh, the test evidence. Uh, so vibrance as is applicable uh, uh, in any any space where we have been applying contra flump structure uh, before. Looking at the colors, <clears throat> the role of colors in interior design are very important. Interior designers uh, use the multitude techniques involving contra flump structure, uh, furnishing and most importantly colors while designing spaces. And as you know, colors deeply impact the mood and also the energy of spaces because they have an impact on the humans themselves. So the colors are traditionally historically used uh, in all the cultures around the globe uh, to create certain feelings, emotions and moods. And what we see also, and this is one of the reasons why we have developed the product, uh, major brands are using their brand colors in their commercial or office spaces to inspire and to make special statements. So uh, Contraflam Structure Vibrance enables you to really uh, design a space, uh, including the fire resistant glazing according to the wishes and the needs uh, of your investor or uh, your business partner. But let's have a look here in this example in a fitness center, in a gym, uh, how Contraflam structure vibrance uh, could blend into the ambience. You see right here, this is Contraflam structure. Let's call it maybe classic uh, in the initial uh, makeup and thicknesses uh, we have been using with the black uh, joints. And you see uh, in the next slides that we can be changing from uh, black to a, a dark gray tone, still with a fine uh, black line in the center or with a light gray. And you already notice how this is matching differently uh, into, into the building. If we go on changing the colors, for instance, to green, you see this is matching well, very well now <clears throat> with these climbing brackets you have in the, in the back or if we turn to blue, uh, it gives a quite different aspect. So really with playing with the color, you can influence the, let's say, the uh, emotions of people and you could also uh, give the space another mood, another energy. This is a yellow uh, solution we are showing right here. I have some orange as well or imagine we could turn it into red or also purple could be possible as you see are seeing here in this picture. So <clears throat> in the end, I think you 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 get an idea what uh, you can be doing with control from structure vibrance by just changing and playing with the color. And uh, <clears throat> you can see here in the next slide uh, that uh, let's say the number of variations are numerous. So if you imagine on the right hand side, we have a, a white uh, six screen printing at the edges of the control flame structure vibrance. You could be using a white silicone, which is giving nearly the appearance of a full white line, or you could be using a black one as well. So you could either accentuate or blend in. The second picture, you have uh, a gray tone where the, the color of the silicone is perfectly matching with the, with the uh, silk screen. And in the third picture, the red and the black, uh, you could really accentuate and uh, play with it. And you see below uh, in the graph, the five different uh, colors we are offering today, which have been approved. We are using a special Dow Seal 895 silicone, which has been approved uh, and released uh, for our edge compound of Contaflam structure, which is very important to prevent from claims. So not every uh, silicone can be used and shall be used. Uh, we strictly recommend to use the Dow Seal, which is uh, freely available on the market or could be purchased with the glass through the Retrotech Sangoba offices. Also, <clears throat> Uh, have the key benefits of contra flame structure vibrance uh, summarized uh, here in this slide. 
Of course, we are offering fire safety, uh, up to two hour fire ratings with full protection in steel or aluminum systems. We are offering impact safety with the product. It automatically comes with the tempered glass and the uh, interlayers uh, that we uh, have the full pendulum resistance uh, up to 1 meter 20 drop height of a 50 kilogram uh, uh, pendulum uh, with hard tires. Uh, the maximum paint size is exceptional, nearly up to 4 meter 50, which perfectly meets the requirements uh, we uh, find in today's architecture. Uh, the UV stability, I think, especially for your areas, I think we have uh, attendees, attendees here from Singapore to London, especially for the Asian zone. I think this is a very good uh, and important argument that you can get UV, uh, that you get full st uh, UV stability with the product without using any additional laminated glass with PVB filtering the UV, which is giving the product a clear advantage compared to others in weight, also in uh, the thickness and also concerning the cost finally uh, for the product itself. And the design, very flexible. Uh, we can do virtually any uh, roll or pantone tone uh, alongside the vertical edges in vibrance. This is a slide finally summarizing why Vibrance is the clear winner. Uh, we have a couple of features here. Fire resistance, of course, uh, can be offered by many uh, producers of fire resistant glazing. The colored edges of Vibrance, I think, is uh, really a new topic, a new design feature we are offering. UV stability is outstanding with those 5000 hours. The tempered glass advantage counts a lot, especially on the job sites. So we have the ever reduced breakage risk during transport of the product, during uh, mounting it, during installation. Uh, it is uh, very resistant. Impact strength or safety is important in certain applications like those atriums. Uh, maximum tested dimensions up to 448. More than 20 years of proven reliability in, in the projects and of course our sales areas, Manish and his team uh, will offer you the full technical and commercial support uh, to make your project uh, a, a success uh, next time. This is a little outlook into the future. We are currently working on making uh, contract arm structure vibrance even uh, more flexible. We are uh, testing at the moment different silicone joints uh, in, uh, to be able to have red, blue, uh, yellow, uh, for instance, as additional colors. Uh, uh, you can imagine that we are testing the compatibility. As far as I heard from our innovation manager, it is looking pretty good and we are looking forward to probably within the next months be able to release this product and those silicones uh, finally, which will even enlarge the variety of the product uh, looking at the, uh, or the combinations uh, you could be doing uh, with ContraFarm structure lines. So this is uh, where I have to hand over to Manish again, uh, a little outlook. Uh, please, Manish, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ralph, for the uh, vibrant uh, presentation. Uh, I think a uh, lot of uh, people uh, would have actually, you know, got to understand that uh, there is there is always an option in the interiors to make the partitions still fire resistant and still have a lot of uh, colors which can really uh, you know blend with the interiors of any corporate uh, or a brand uh, identity so thank you for that uh, and uh, just to note uh, for everyone our next webinar uh, is going to be on uh, on 10th of march uh, and uh, we have actually chosen this topic uh, to talk about on high security glazing solutions which is also a quite an important topic for this part of the world in terms of understanding how the glass solutions can uh, you know can help you make the buildings more uh, more security proof uh, and we will be talking about uh, solutions which can be attack bullet and blast resistance and uh, those products we are going to to discuss and what are the options and the solutions you know which we would offer for this uh, part of the world 
OK. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, I think uh, we would uh, we would love to actually take more questions now. Yes, so hi, my name is Saskia Goldhan. I work for the central marketing team from Vetrotech Sangoba. Uh, I'll be moderating the Q&A now. So we've received several questions. I'll go through them one by one. And the first one would actually be for Ralph. So the first question is, how thick is the counterflum structure 30 on average? Uh, the <clears throat> say standard product uh, is uh, about 23 millimeters thick. The thickness is little depending on the height. So you imagine uh, with the flexibility of the glass, you have to increase in terms of the stability of the wall and to withstand line loads and other uh, mechanical forces. You need to adapt the glass thickness. So we are starting with 23 millimeters, which is suitable at least up to three meter height uh, in up to, I think, one meter 50 width. But uh, if you go up to uh, more than four meters, in the end you have to add uh, or replace uh, five and six millimeter panes in the product makeup to eight millimeters, and you're going a little up uh, towards 30 millimeters. This also uh, applies for the other product uh, and classifications, uh, and it could be varying a bit uh, from the zone we are in. So the uh, thicknesses of the interlayers are. Uh, could be a little varying and so I would recommend uh, you to contact uh, Manish and his team uh, to give you the final answers uh, for your country, your application and the special uh, height which is needed in your project. Thank you. The next question is for Ralph as well. Is it possible to combine contraflam structure with colored glasses? Colored glasses. Oh, very difficult question. Colored glasses uh, can be different things. Uh, of course, we could be using, uh, for instance, um, glasses which could be tinted in the mass. So we could have a kind of parzole gray or green uh, tone in the glass. It hasn't been tested yet, but it would be possible. But we have strictly to uh, mention that uh, this should be used in interior only because the darker glass would uh, heat up more in exterior application and we need to take care that the interlayer doesn't start reacting too early. Uh, but we could also imagine to have laminated glasses in, uh, introduced in the product makeup. Uh, so we have some nice projects with the so-called Studip Color, which is the, uh, let's say, a laminated glass with uh, uh, colored films. You can choose among, I think, 360 different colors in the end, which can be incorporated and staying transparent uh, in, in a static color, or you could even combine it with a translucent film as well. So uh, we have different ways in playing with the product and adding even more color if, if desired. We have a nice example for those, uh, uh, yeah, uh, for those uh, for an application for for colored fire resistant glass for instance in in the uk uh, there is a hospital south meat hospital in bristol where not contraflam structure but uh, pyrosis laminated has been applied a couple of years ago and the architect uh, and and the owner have been using the different colors in certain areas of the building uh, to make it uh, easier for the visitors to find the spaces where they should go. So they have been told to go to the red or the blue or the yellow area, and you could integrate those into the, uh, the glass and make people's life easier in a very complex building. This would also be possible with contraflam structure vibrance or contraflam structure. Great. The next question as well for you, Ralph, is can the contraflam pane be used outside without a functional pane? Uh, you mean the, the monolithic glass? This uh, I guess so, yes. <clears throat> yeah, the monolithic glass itself has a certain temperature range, and I think for the zone we are in, in Asia, uh, it is uh, uh, recommended to use DGU double glazing makeups to protect the interlayer, for instance, with a solar protective coating uh, against uh, heat and, and sun radiation. 
yeah, uh, avoiding that there is a too early reaction taking place. As you have seen in the in the little film, uh, it wouldn't be nice if your glazing would start turning uh, white and opaque over the time uh, just by by heating it. Uh, for a long period of time uh, by sunlight. Uh, so you need to be a little careful and uh, application should be discussed and uh, if additional shadowing might be needed uh, is also to be find, found out and depends on the project. All right, then we have a question. What is the nominal width for the edge fit from Confirm Structure Vibrance, Ralph? Uh, as you have been seeing or remembering, maybe in the slide we have uh, we are talking about a nominal width of about 32 millimeters, uh, assuming that we have a four millimeter gap with silicone in between the panes. Uh, it is uh, two times 40 millimeters, which I would consider to be a minimum. Uh, it is also depending a bit on the production uh, site. Uh, they have different equipments and. Uh, uh, I would say the the, the range uh, of the width of the uh, of the uh, colored uh, silk screen should be 14 for in the range of 14 to 18 20 millimeters approximately. Mm -hmm. Then we have a question also again for Ralph. I think this relates to fall protection. So one of our um, listeners is asking how much impact is the glass designed for? In February, there are no railings around the glass, which can cause someone to fall against it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a product is made from safety glass, there is no risk to touch the glass uh, surface or to to fall into the glass. It won't break. Uh, the pendulum resistance uh, we are offering, even in the standard makeup, in the thinnest makeup, maybe of 23 millimeter is secure enough to withstand a 50 kilogram impact at a high uh, drop height of 1 meter 20, which is uh, by far exceeding the uh, impact force of a human body of about 80 kilogram weight, uh, I think by 2.5. Uh, so there's a lot of security in the glass. It won't break, so it has a, a splinter retention as well with the interlayer. We can in uh, certain areas or countries, there is an especial, uh, a special requirement for uh, fall through gardens by laminated safety glass containing PVB films. So we could integrate a laminated glass with PVB also in contraflam structure and structure vibrance on the impact side to enhance or increase the safety if required. And concerning uh, line loads, uh, those walls, it is not just considered to be a piece of glass, which is normally four sided framed. It is a system. Uh, it is a partition in the end. And the, those partitions very often in many countries have to withstand line loads by uh, traffic, which is created by people in an escape situation. You have uh, eventually hundreds of thousands of people escaping in the case of fire out of a building uh, and they, they are pushing each other. There are loads uh, appearing to the glass and this is what the uh, glass needs to be designed for. And uh, we have uh, from the very beginning considered those loads and uh, designed the glass makeups accordingly. But it would be easy uh, by just increasing the glass thicknesses in the makeup to even take higher loads if this is required in a project. So one, one kilonewton or 1.5 kilonewton are normal loads we, we are familiar with uh, in the, let's say, balustrade. Uh, height uh, in between varying depending on the country in between 80 to 1 meter 20 but uh, this is what the product is already designed for then we have a question that also concerns the combination with safety glass so what about what about glass type availability for control rooms in boiler or areas where chances of explosions are present <clears throat> So far, we haven't tested contraflam structure or contraflam structure vibrance for explosion resistance yet. I can imagine that it would be possible depending on the, the construction itself. Uh, there will be limits probably to, uh, to the silicone joint. Uh, 
but uh, in general, I think it, it could be possible. I can imagine that that already the standard makeup for the European classifications ER1 to ER2 could even be enough. We have tested the product in combination uh, with uh, burglary resistance already. So we have obtained in a special makeup uh, with contra flam structure, even an RC2, uh, 3 and 4 classification. But for explosion, uh, frankly speaking, we haven't been testing yet. All right. Um, then when we're talking about testing, we have a question that might be answered by Rolf and Manish. Um, are the test method according to the relevant BS, SS, AS, EN, and by the relevant test lab in SG and accepted by SG, SCDF? So maybe you can quickly elaborate on the testing spectrum around contraform structure in general. Manish, would you answer please? Yeah, so uh, so uh, I think uh, when I heard SCDF, so practically I think this question might be related to Singapore. So uh, in Singapore, generally uh, there is a process to uh, to list a product and uh, all our uh, contra flam vib uh, vibrance range, this is already listed uh, in Singapore with our system partners. So all the products, the fire products are actually sold with the, with the system. And uh, we have uh, partnered uh, with a few uh, uh, companies who are actually selling the full system uh, in the market. So for Singapore, we have a ready-made uh, listing available and uh, we can extend it for any project. And uh, we already have a, a COC, we call it in, in, in Singapore, to mention as a certificate of compliance uh, for the product. And we have ready-made available uh, for the market in terms of the application. Great, thank you so much for elaborating. Um, then we have a question that Ralph might be able to answer about the makeup. So the question is what exactly is on the edge? Is it still some kind of frame? So maybe you can explain the makeup a bit. No, it is, uh, in the end, it's a color. Uh, it's a ceramic uh, color, which we are applying uh, either by roller coating or silk screen printing. Uh, and which is uh, entering into the tempering process for the float glass and which finally at 600 degrees C starts uh, to build a ceramic uh, uh, paint which is totally resistance and chemically bounding to the glass surface. So it is a very thin, uh, a few microns thick uh, color which we are applying directly on the glass surface. It's not a frame. All right, and someone is asking what is the maximum width available for the contraform structure panes? Yeah, so far we have been testing up to 1 meter 80 width. I think uh, it could, could be considered. Uh, we have uh, one site in Europe, uh, so it may be a matter of logistics uh, for a project in Asia. Uh, uh, we could be going up to 230, but Manish, maybe you can give uh, the audience an idea of the maximum width you could be producing in the factory in, in uh, Chennai, in India. Yeah, so uh, as of now, we are doing up to 1800. And uh, apart from the production, uh, it is important, particularly in uh, this part of the world, to have a listing to mention with the largest size. So the listings uh, which we have currently are up to 1.8 uh, meters in terms of the width. Yeah, uh, this is similar to Europe. One, 180 yeah. is the maximum width we have been testing, but from production point of view, we could be going wider if, yeah. if really required. But would require additional testing for sure, which could make give another challenge. All right, then someone is asking, what's the acoustic range of this product in decibel? Oh, this is a very good question and uh, I don't know the, the figures all by heart, but to give you an idea, for the 23 millimeter uh, 30 minute product already, we have a sound reduction of the glass, which is in the range of uh, 40 or even 41 dBs. So and uh, so for 60, which is about 31 millimeter thick or starting with 31, the 90, 45, the uh, 120 product with 60 millimeters, there will certainly be a much better sound reduction. And uh, this is something where we where we 
really uh, uh, are on the secure side, I believe. Great, and at this point, it might be worth mentioning that we have a lot of data sheets that you can find on our website, vetrotech.com, with a lot of technical information regarding control flame structure as well. We also have a question if we offer glass doors in the condo flum structure system? A very good question. <laughs> Maybe somebody has already experienced our Lunax fire doors, uh, which are not part of, of this presentation. Uh, we are working on something uh, to combine uh, with uh, structure for sure. Uh, at the moment, it is not yet available. But uh, I think uh, Manish, uh, if the person is coming with a special request and an interesting project, maybe things could be happening a little earlier than uh, than the official product release. Maybe Absolutely. accelerate the development. Yes, yes. So I think it also depends on the area, it needs on the test evidence, uh, which will be required. Uh, so it needs to be uh, checked, but uh, theoretically we are working on something. Yes, I have a glass door also integrated in, in the structure range. All right, then I think we have all of the questions. So thank you so much for asking us all these questions. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to Ralph Linden or Manish Sisodia. Uh, Manish, back to you. Yeah, OK, so uh, thank you. Uh, thank you and uh, thank you everyone for joining this uh, this session. Uh, I think uh, for my Asian uh, colleagues, they are just back from the New Year uh, Lunar New Year holidays. So thank you for taking out the you know, time uh, for uh, for this session. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, there is a lot more content uh, which is available in terms of uh, technical content, the data sheets, the brochures, everything is available on the website vetrotech.com. So do reach out on this website uh, and uh, for sure, uh, uh, you know, you can reach out to us, uh, uh, you know, in terms of our, we have offices in almost uh, all the regions uh, uh, in terms of Asia and uh, uh, Middle East and uh, India. And uh, do follow us on uh, LinkedIn uh, for uh, there is a link already given here uh, at the rate retro tech And thank you and uh, happy Lunar New Year again to you and everyone. And uh, thank you, Ralph, uh, for uh, for doing this session. Yeah, thank you, Omar. And thank you, Ralph, uh, for uh, for doing this session. Thank you all for your attention and uh, have a happy new year. In this case. Thank you.